just started exercising again after an embarrassingly long time and I can't walk. <laughs> I am in pain. This is my third coffee. It's 3.30 p.m. I am doing a what I eat in a day today. What? Spoiler alert, I am eating a plant-based diet for a whole month. My reasons for doing this are as follows. I just wanna see if it makes any difference whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a big meat eater anyway. I don't eat a lot of meat. Um, I do tend to have normal milk in my coffee. Okay, so I am having my coffee black now and at the minute because I'm yet to find a milk that doesn't taste like poo. I don't understand. I go to like Costa and get an almond vanilla latte. Bloody lovely. I buy almond milk and it tastes like shit. <laughs> I use almond milk when I like cook all the time. Um, but I've tried oat milk in my coffee, almond milk. I hate coconut milk because it tastes, makes everything taste like coconuts. Like I love coconuts, especially with chocolate, but I don't want a coconut coffee. Like I just don't, thank you. So if anyone has any recommendations, What's the closest to real milk? Trust me, I've tried loads of plant-based slash vegan like meals and, and stuff throughout my life. I've had hazelnut milk, I've had cashew milk. It's, it's all just fine, but none of it, none of them taste as good as a semi-skimmed in your coffee, a teaspoon of sugar, But yeah, like I said, I'm drinking, you can't see that, black coffee at the minute, which is also fine. I used to drink black coffee. Long story short, a few years ago, I actually ate vegan for quite a while. Um, so I'm up to speed on most things and I don't really feel any different at the minute. It's been like a week and I'm going to do a full video on all the things that I feel and what I eat um, at the end of the month. But anyway, I'm going off on a massive tangent. So this morning I had a cinnamon raisin bagel with some Vitalite dairy-free butter. I'll show you that. I really just like wasn't talking because I mean it was 7.30 in the morning so I was like Stop, don't talk to me. Then I spontaneously made a banana bread, um, vegan banana bread. I'll put the recipe that I used down below. Spoiler alert, it's a little bit, um, but that's to come in the video. And then I had a second coffee with two Biscoff biscuits. <laughs> two glasses of water I just forgot to show that I just showed my coffee but yeah, I had two glasses of water and two coffees yeah so then once we were up till there I actually filmed my lunch so here we go into the rest of the video I hope you guys enjoy I will see you soon I don't know what this hair is all about <laughs> I'm like halfway through my makeup but 
I'm starving, so I really want to make lunch. I don't really have much, but I know I want hummus. I know I want pita, and I have to use up my spinach or it's going to go off. Can you hear that? It's a bin lorry outside. I'm going to close the window, actually, because it's a little chilly. So, let's see. What do I have? I literally might just have to have that. Are you okay? Okay, I've decided I'm going to put some of this Via Life cheese, spinach, and some cherry tomatoes. Um, well, I'm going to put the cherry tomatoes in a pan, I think, because I hate raw tomatoes. I'm going to put them in a pan quickly, get them cooked, um, and then put it all in a pitter or two with some hummus. I think that'll be tasty. Here is the banana bread I made. I only have like a massive um loaf tin so it's really small i actually half the recipe anyway because the original recipe wanted four bananas but i only had two so i half the recipe it's a little bit like like tough on the top um i'm thinking maybe i left it in too long because i half the recipe um yeah maybe i should have left it in for a little bit less time but i am gonna have some of this after my lunch so let's get making so just watching this clip back <laughs> And I don't know why it looks like my knives are having trouble going through cherry tomatoes. Because they're like fairly new, really sharp knives. Um, <laughs> but it looks like they're really struggling there. Might be my technique, I don't know. But um, yeah, I hope you find it as amusing as I do. <laughs> life-changing honestly i feel like i can't eat a different one i'm gonna start with one pizza and then um if i'm still hungry i'll have another one but i am gonna have some banana bread and i'm having quite a big dinner tonight so we shall see one of these like pretty much every day anyway I always did um it just has loads of vitamins in it and yeah makes your pee look like literally that color <laughs> Had enough tomatoes to fill half another pizza so i'm adding the other half with some hummus so i decided to have the end bit of the banana bread that i made um <laughs> i'm not sure about this this is the first vegan cake i've ever baked um and my normal banana bread not to toot my own horn is pretty fucking amazing but this smells good <laughs> 
I just feel like it's going to be really dense. Texture's weird. I always put Demerara sugar on the top of my banana breads. That bit's really tasty. Got that idea from Zoe Sug. It's okay. I think the recipe is good. I just think I should have maybe halved the baking time because I used half the mixture. Anyway. Anyway. to end my video but the last meal of the day was this vegan um alfredo pasta let me tell you it was delicious i'll put the recipe down below i got it from instagram um it was amazing had it with some garlic bread from tesco which is like accidentally vegan because there's no butter in it